submit questions <laughs> in the comments. Um, I would love to answer some of those too. Hey, what up, Neve? Hey, how are you? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? <laughs> hey, what's good, Ari? I'm so good. How are you? I'm good. We got the Desis in the building. <laughs> Should have put my hat on. I love it. Geraldine as a rap gift. She all she got all of us these hats that say Thesbian and then our character names. So like all of the Thesis have these like neon hats. Um, Those hats are fire. But, I saw uh, them on set. They're so good. They're they very are, comfortable too. Yeah, they're the great, like they're peak, peak, um, peak rap gift for sure. I Where's love Hi, them. my friends. Right. I miss you both so much. I miss you so much. <laughs> You're in New York. <laughs> I miss you so much. I know, and you have, I'm, yeah. I am, I I am sick. I can't you. Are you are so sick. And, and no, I'm, I know. I'm in Barbados, because otherwise I'd be with you right now, too. Your <laughs> your face is not dead. <laughs> yeah. Neve, I would be I right there with you. you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I can't complain. Oh, I can't complain. I miss you guys. I love you guys so much. <laughs> um, oh, Neve, goodness. really quickly, um, obviously, we all yeah. know you, but I would love for you to just say your name, who you play on the show, yeah. your will sign, and then Lydia's sign. Okay, so yeah. hi everybody, I'm Meve. Um, I play Lydia, Tezzy Queen on, hey, on hey. and um, I'm a Pisces. I also, FYI for everyone, I use all pronouns. And um, Lydia is a Virgo. Ooh. I'm pretty sure, I wrote out her entire chart, but like with the, like, the meticulousness of her life, she's 100% a Virgo, I feel. Um, oh, there's like I have a comment somewhere where I've like I there's somewhere where I've written out like her entire birth chart, but yeah. Anyway, hi everyone. <laughs> wow. I wonder now. I'm curious because I know zodiac signs, but I don't know that much about it. I wonder if Aries and Virgos are compatible. I have to like look well, that up. I she, like I guess kind of like fire and earth signs. I feel like kind of you know they work. Okay. Um, but I also like I was still deciding between her moon and like I think when I first booked it, like I was deciding whether her her moon sign was a uh, Aries or not. But I think she's a water sign moon, to be honest, because she's a big she's a softy at heart. Right. She she's feels deep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. Well, so <laughs> feelings, I feel like your relationship has been such a highlight on the show. Obviously, fans love it, and I feel like you guys have just been such a shining light in the series. Neve, I'd love to hear what it's been like to depict this queer love story in the 1950s, what that process was like, um, and what it's like to see the reception to it. Yeah. Um, honestly, I was thinking about this earlier. It felt so natural. Wow. I think as a, as a queer person, there's like this, this, this deep like history and kind of like, centuries long um thing that is like so human and it lives in us wow. after like from generation to generation and so like the fact that it took place in the 1950s obviously like it was a very different environment for queer people back then mm -hmm. but like it just felt normal like it just felt like that was how you know it should have queer people have always existed they just yeah. haven't been represented in media. And so it was like, there wasn't even really a question of, um, you know, like obviously the, there's, uh, you know, there's some conflict created by the fact that it takes place in the 1950s, but the actual, like the, the working on it specifically with Ev was like, um, it just felt so natural. Yeah. It like yeah. just kind of came and like, you know, there is such a, <laughs> perfectly easy person to work with like the most True, facts. <laughs> the most <laughs> like the most easy person to work with i um you know i'm truly like i uh, i'm their biggest fan <laughs> <laughs> so it was uh yeah it was it was really like it just it just kind of came naturally i feel yeah how about, how about i you? agree no, I like totally yeah. agree with you because I, I I talked to a few people who were not out in the 1950s as lesbians, but like lesbians who were alive in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. And like, 
um, yeah. and have yeah. since come out. And like a lot of their experience was like, they didn't have the language for it most of the time, but they also didn't mm. have the shame attributed to like how we, you know, sort of see homosexuality oh. and like queerness like in this time. So since it, it, there, there was like, sort of like an unspoken shame, like it wasn't like, this is bad, go to hell. Like it was yeah. like, I don't right. know what's going on, but I can tell that I shouldn't tell anyone about it. And I feel like right. the way that it was written, like the way that the, the scenes were written, like we're all very much in line with that experience that a lot of people have. And then of course, like queer people are queer people, like lesbians are lesbianing all the time, like any decade, <laughs> all the time. Like, the bird, I love the just, bird. <laughs> we, we all understand, like they are you hauling. They are like, it's just very, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like, I feel like <laughs> Cynthia and Lydia and their like dynamic is just very close to like dynamics that I have seen. It, in within my yeah. lesbian friends you know like it, it was it was just yeah. like it was very natural to play these characters because they were like yeah. so just very much like many other lesbians that i know that's yeah. so epic it's just like <laughs> lesbians be lesbian lesbianing all the time <laughs> throughout the decades since back on time, time y'all <laughs> <laughs> i love that also it's so speaking of your relationship obviously merely players plays a crucial role in that. And I feel like it's a big turning point for your relationship. What was it like recording that song and shooting it? And you guys got to work with Jennifer Morrison, who is such a phenomenal actress and director. What was it like working with her on that as well? Oh, it was such <laughs> a cool take away, moment for me. No, it was, it was just like, okay. I don't know if anybody, have either of you watched Once Upon a Time? I actually haven't. Jennifer okay, Morrison I has? haven't, yeah. Okay, yeah. I did. And I was like, I, I really did. And I was just, I just thought she was so talented, but I also like had a huge crush on her character um, and the other lead right. woman. And I like, I wanted them to be together. Like I was very much of that sort yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So I just like, I, I just, she was a huge part of my queer awakening as a young person. And wow. so like mm -hmm. then to hear that she was gonna be a part of the character, like of the, of the episode yeah. where my character Cynthia has her queer awakening was just like so full circle and so insane like it's just that was crazy but then of course like then the just the like being able to sing this lesbian love song obviously you know there are musicals where lesbians sing to each other but like there it's yeah. very few and far between and so being able to being able to do that and like and and also like do sing the song to like another queer person who's playing the other queer person like it's just it's just really mm -hmm. special i cried so much um and that day oh was like insane. that day yeah <laughs> and so much fun like it was just like it felt like a party it was great wow. yeah it was no it truly was like a party i also cried like crazy <laughs> like i feel like all day i was just like intermittently like when we were running to our trailers like back and forth yeah. to change costumes <laughs> for different setups. Like I would get in my trailer, weep for a little bit, put on my new costume, go film the next thing. Mm -hmm. You know, next thing we're in a Western, then we're in the, the dress, right. like the, yeah, it was just, um, and, and Jennifer, like one thing about Jennifer Morrison is like, she is the most prepared, like meticulous, yeah. like mm -hmm. just, she's so incredible. And I honestly like watching her direct was like, I have, um, started directing myself and I'm like that is how I aspire to run a set mm -hmm. she's like has you know clear like it's so evident how much the crew respects her and and like all the actors love working with her and mm -hmm. I'm just like oh like if I could like when I grow up when I grow up I want to be, be just like Jennifer um yeah she's just like such a true queen I um I'm a huge fan of her for sure I agree with you. It was such a pleasure to work with her. And like you said, she's so meticulous yeah. and detail oriented. And she just, yeah. I remember we were shooting, I think the drive-in scene and she like came up and introduced herself to literally every single actor on set. Mm -hmm. And I don't even have a big moment in, I have like a few lines, like an exchange with Rosemary, but she came up to me and we had a whole exchange of like my relationship with Hazel, my mm -hmm. relationship with Rosemary. And I remember she was like, yeah, like when you look at Hazel, she was like, I just want you to open your heart center and lead with that. And I was like, got you. I was oh. like, you. like I, I hear you, I see you, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like she has that kind of connection <laughs> with everyone on her set. So shout out to Jennifer yeah. Morrison, if you're watching, hello, we love you. Um, and we're yeah, obsessed. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> she is the best. Yeah, um, she's a also, queen. in terms of, I guess, just fan reactions, because I know the fans are loving your relationship, what have been some of your favorite, I guess, fan moments, whether it's been like fan art or DMs or comments or fan edits? Um, I know you guys are flooded with it and it's a lot and it's hard to like keep track, but has anything kind of popped yeah. out to you guys? I'm still kind of parsing through personally. Like yeah. it's, yeah. it's just, a, there's a lot of like messages and stuff. Um, and it, I cry a lot. Like whenever I read them, yeah. they're all very, very Aww. sweet. Um, and the fan art is gorgeous Stop. and oh the edits gosh. are incredible. Like, <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's been it's been it's funny because like me and Ari talked about this um, when we were filming. Like we talked about the inevitable, uh, like we knew that there was gonna be fan edits because we're mm. like we were talking about it and like we didn't know to what extent, but like we knew that like the little TikTok gays were gonna, <laughs> were gonna be so you know into <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> and um and and then when it actually started to happen it was like one very surreal and two it was just like oh i'm so thrilled to feel to know that people are feeling seen and and feeling represented mm -hmm. and i i think the honestly as much as all of the like the fan messages really mean a lot to me and are like every time i get one I, like i read almost all of them and every time i get one they're always like so moving but um mm -hmm. The biggest ones have been like people that I grew up with or like people I went to high school with or, uh, you know, <laughs> like mm. people that I haven't spoken to a long time in a long time coming and being like, I, you know, I'm so thrilled that this is happening. I wish I got to see this, you know, mm. when we were in high school. Wow. And um, those those messages have been probably like the most moving because it comes from like when you when you hear it on the internet it's like you can't really put like a face to a name or anything yeah. but when it's like someone you know it's it's very um it's really moving it just feels so grateful and like so special to be part of such an incredible storyline and to have worked with heaven like it's just yeah i'm it's a lot for me <laughs> oh, I love that. you two are simply spectacular truly i know we have some t-birds waiting in the wings to come in so I'm about yeah. to start, tickling, but like, <laughs> thank you for taking your time out of the day to spend with me. It's been literally a pleasure, truly. Of course, you're amazing you. at this. Oh, <laughs> thank you. It's so good. <laughs> I'm like, having you're the best so time amazing at it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Max, I'm just like so in awe of you. I could not do this the way that you're doing it. You're just like such an icon. <laughs> Yo, that means the world. Seriously, thank you. It's because I have the best company, <laughs> truly. You guys are making it seamless for me. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Love and adore you. Love y'all so much. Oh my God. Bye guys. Enjoy New York. Bye. I'll see y'all. Bye. Bye.